Yo, what is up, my crazy subscriber? This is Joe King Johnson before, and today we're gonna be talking about the game between the Dallas Cowboys and the San Francisco 49ers. Now, for those of you guys who actually saw the game, pretty much can see that Dallas Cowboys are gonna have a terrible season after what happened in the first quarter. Now, for those of you guys who hasn't seen the game, make sure you stop by and info the comments, see the highlights, and pretty much impressive what the hell happened in the first quarter. Now, what actually happened, guys, is that the first quarter the 49ers were dominating with the defense. They were dominating so badly. Uh, they forced a fumble for a touchdown. They intercepted Tony Romo three times in the first quarter. Fresh turnovers all over the goddamn place. I swear. So, um, I mean, some of those interceptions, they were pretty much the worst mistakes I've ever seen from a quarterback. Tony Romo threw it into triple coverage and he got intercepted by a linebacker. Like, it was too obvious. The guys were standing next to the guy, like, side, like from the left and to the right. And then this linebacker, well, I know he was going to bait him in. Like, he was pretending to go inside, but then he dropped back. And then Tony Romo throws it. Like, he tries to throw it between those two defenders, but fails because the linebacker actually jumps on time and intercepts the ball. It was a good red place by the linebacker. It was a pretty nice, well-done play. And they almost scored so um the other interception that i really want to talk about will be the one with des bryant covered by two you know defensive backs a safety in the corner i believe and the way it happened is that des bryant was going to run a post route down the middle and um you know tony romo just lobs it down the middle and uh hopes for this Bryant to do something but it's kind of pathetic how it happened because these two defensive backs were pretty much tightly you know they were tightly covering this guy one was like right in front of this Brian, the other one was like right behind this Brian. So if, he, if Tony Romo was to overthrow it, interception, underthrow it, interception. The only way he could actually aim at the middle is like a miracle. It's like 10% chance he will actually catch the damn ball between these two defenders. It was just dumb decisions by Tony Romo. That's why he got interception. That was all Tony Romo. That was do not blame the O line. The O line was doing a kind of an okay job. Except for the left, for the left guard, that I kept saying that he he was tripping, he couldn't do the pulls. Anyways, um, in the fourth quarter, they actually ended up doing the clutch plays and actually tried to do a comeback. But I think it was kind of late because the 49ers were actually up by two touchdowns or by a touchdown and a half. I'm not sure how much it was, but you know it was just horrendous. How I see the Dallas Cowboys, I think they're actually gonna go six and ten, or seven and nine, or maybe go into a freaking four peed and go eight and eight. But there's no way they're going to go over 500 with that kind of a team. They're not. They're not going to defeat the Seattle Seahawks. They're not going to de defeat the Chicago Bears. All these other teams are superior than the Dallas Cowboys. And I feel bad for the Dallas Cowboys fans because, you know, in, rea in reality, uh, the Dallas Cowboys need a new general manager. This guy is not hiring the right guys to be in the football division. You know, Jerry Jones just doesn't ever see that. The only way Jerry Jones can step down is by himself stepping down and decides to quit or he just dies or i don't know i just don't wish him to die but like some way somehow this guy has to step down and give somebody with football skills football knowledge the right job like just give him the freaking job i prefer mike home as a general manager now or somebody an ex-head coach um the other way they could have actually be successful this year is they would have drafted johnny Manziel. that's the truth i think they would have done a lot better but or not they would have done a lot better than tony romo and a lot better than the Brandon Whedon as the backup. So, yeah, I prefer to hear Johnny Manziel in that game. So, that's my opinion, guys. Hopefully, you guys want more opinions about the games that have passed on Sunday. I'll be giving my opinion about today's games also. So, do not uh, go away. It's going to be more opinions about the latest games of the NFL. So, subscribe for more, guys. If you guys want to hear more about my opinions. And some of the extreme games that happened also. Because there were several games that ended up in the last seconds. Like, it was just amazing. So, I'll give my opinions about that. So, subscribe for more, guys. More videos coming up.